11 people are thought to have died, many others are injured, with Norway reeling from twin attacks. First, a suspected car bomb outside the Prime Minister's office in Oslo, killing seven people. Then, a gunman disguised as a police officer began shooting at a Labour Party youth camp on the island of Utøya, south of the capital. One person's been arrested. It's feared there could still be explosives there. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilsom, has the latest. The explosion tore through the centre of Oslo in the early afternoon. Smoke and flames poured from the windows of the oil ministry. This is a city normally linked to peace, not terror. Norwegians have never known anything like it. Bystanders took pictures with mobile phones. Documents were blown out of office windows. The main government building, where the cabinet had just finished meeting, and two newspaper offices were just nearby. The police said it was a car bomb. I was uh, at a cafe close to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, when I heard a uh, very heavy blast. Um, people started leaving the cafe to see what was going on, if it was thunder or if it was a fire. Um, I immediately left the place and I went to the area, which is uh, located where all the key ministries are. The prime minister's office is there. Uh, the building, uh, the buildings were on fire. Uh, it was complete chaos in the streets. We saw injured people uh, being carried out of the buildings. We saw some injured and bloody people walking themselves. Security is light in Oslo. Although Norwegian troops participate in NATO operations in Afghanistan and Libya, it's never been attacked before. The wounded were given first aid on the street, passers-by and paramedics patching them up as best they could. Some were only lightly injured and able to walk through the shattered glass and rubble. Ambulances took the injured to hospital. And then news came in of a shooting on Utoya Island, just south of Oslo, where the governing Labour Party was holding its summer youth camp. About a thousand young people gather here every summer. At 5.15 London time, a man called Ketil Vivele tweeted that he and friends were sitting close to the water while a man in police uniform was shooting. Fifteen minutes later, he tweeted that they were OK, but could hear more shots. Earlier today, a bomb went off in Oslo. Uh, so when a policeman showed up at the boat going to the island, telling that he was part of the security system that uh, take care of the security on the island, uh, people accepted that. But only a few minutes after he had uh, come to the island, he took out a, a handgun and uh, started to, to shoot uh, at the youth. And, uh, well, it's chaotic there. People are very scared. They are hiding in caves and in bushes and uh, uh, are still waiting for um, police uh, forces to, to come to their rescue. Oslo residents were advised to stay at home as the death toll rose and police closed in on the gunmen on the island. Eyewitnesses told Norwegian television that the shooter was tall and blonde but his nationality hasn't been confirmed. Tonight, Norway is in shock. They've never seen such death and mayhem before. The governing Labour Party is in crisis, and the police is yet unclear about how these two events are connected and who could be responsible. Lindsay Hilsom, and later in the programme, we'll be speaking to the British ambassador in Norway for the latest.